Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my 2022 gift guide Christmas series. So far this week you have seen what we were giving our oldest daughter under the tree and what we're giving her in her stocking. And then yesterday I shared what we are giving our youngest daughter under the tree. And today I'm sharing with you her stocking stuffer. So just like her sister, she is getting nine gifts in her stocking this year. And I have almost all of them to show you. I think one thing, um, yeah, one thing has not come in yet, but I needed to go ahead and film this video so I can get it edited. So I will just insert a picture, but it'll be here, I don't know, any day now, maybe even today, who knows? Okay, so nine stocking stuffers this year. Uh, if you watch what we got her for her Christmas tree gifts, you would have seen that we got her an eyeshadow palette and some eyeshadow brushes. So I thought it would be fun to give her a mascara in her stocking. This is a brownish black. I intentionally got brownish black and I also intentionally got the Great Lash Mascara because I personally do not like this mascara. I don't think it has very good coverage at all, but that's why I got it for her because I don't want her to have that much coverage. She's 12, almost 13. She does not need to look like she is made up all the time. Um, so I intentionally picked one that I thought would not be something I would choose because it doesn't have good coverage, but for her, it's probably gonna be better. So got that. I also got her a lip gloss. This is the Rimmel Stay Glossy in the color, I can't see that, something ruby. I can't tell, I can't, it's written too small, but it's just a really light glossy pink with a little bit of shimmer. I also got her a body spray. This is the Body Fantasies Pink Vanilla Kiss. I had a hard time finding a body spray that did not smell like an old woman or something that was too powerful and like overpowering and strong. I really like smelled as many things as I could smell trying to get the right amount of scent and the right smell, like the fragrance. So I think this is a really good youthful scent. It's very light. My oldest daughter had this when she was younger and I feel like it's a good body mist for a young girl. And then jewelry wise, don't have to show you cause it didn't come in yet, but it is this butterfly ring from Kohl's. I mentioned in her um, Christmas tree gift video that she's really into Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and like elf culture with the wavy hair and the you know the flowing dresses and the you know all that stuff. So she's super into that. So I got her these moonstone earrings and I'm having a hard time getting them out of the bag. Um, and I I liked a different pair of these earrings better, like a moonstone earring better, but I, I picked this one in particular because it has a leaf on it. And I thought that looked more like elf-like, um, so I picked those for her. And you can't really tell on camera, but moonstone is really pretty. It kind of glows with whatever color you're wearing underneath it or with it. So I got those. I also got her this bracelet that she saw at Kohl's and she liked it. Again, it's kind of that whole like, uh, delicate, you know, stars, moons, fairies, nature kind of a theme. It's got like moons and stars and little shiny diamonds on it. And then I also showed you in her gift video that she is getting a sewing machine for Christmas and she's really into fashion design and stuff like that. So I got this book, Fashion Design for Kids, ages eight through 12. I don't think you have to be just eight through 12, but I like that it kind of, in a childlike approach, explains to you like silhouettes and making a mood board, designing different colors with the color palette and themes of clothes and the different types of careers in the fashion industry. I think it was actually written by, uh, yeah, Carrie Quigley is the founder of The Fashion Class, a sewing and fashion design school for children in New York. So I thought that was a really fun book that not only gives her the opportunity to design her own clothes on the different like body mo models, but also teaches you about different types of styles, different lengths, different lines, different types of body shapes. One reason I particularly picked this book, and I'm not one of those people that says, you know, that gets annoyed when everything is like one size, but I did look at some of the other books that had like fashion models and they were like super duper skinny. And I wanted something that had more realistic body shapes in it for all different people. So I liked that the, the images in this book were not just stick thin because I feel like that is more realistic when it comes to life and it's also more realistic when it comes to designing clothes because we're not just designing clothes for models on the runway, we're designing clothes for everybody. So I got that. Random, but I just thought it was cute. I got her this little corgi notepad from the Dollar Tree. She loves corgis. She wants to get a corgi when she grows up. It's just a little notepad with lines, nothing special, but just a place for her to write down little notes and stuff. And then I also got this Magic Magnetic Cube. Both girls really um, have been into fidgets and 
all those sensory things that have been really popular the last goodness five or six years now so fidgets um silly putty slime things like that and so this is kind of like if you can see my camera never wants to focus but it breaks up into these little pieces and they're magnetic and it comes with cards right here that will show you all these different designs you can make with those little shapes when they break apart that's that for her i think that makes a great gift for really any kid or teenager so those are her stocking stuffers. Do I have nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I have nine. I was making sure I didn't forget one. That is what she's getting in her stocking this year. So I hope it gave you some really great ideas. And like I said, in every single video, if you need more gift ideas, definitely check out the videos in my gift guide playlist. I hope you enjoyed this series this year. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite gift was that I showed in this video or any of the other videos this week. I'd really be curious to know what you would be most excited to give or to get. So feel free to leave that for me in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.